China is rapidly expanding its nuclear arsenal. This buildup is alarming the United States and its allies. The world is witnessing a significant shift in the global balance of power, driven by China's economic and military rise, modernization and expansion of China's nuclear forces. Profound implications for international security raises serious questions about China's long-term intentions. How will this impact regional and global security dynamics? The Defense Intelligence Agency, a key intelligence arm of the U.S. government, issued a stark warning in its recent report on China's military power. The report highlights the unprecedented pace and scale of China's nuclear modernization efforts. This assessment has sent shockwaves through the international security community. The DIA report states that China is on track to more than double its nuclear warhead stockpile by the end of this decade. This rapid expansion surpasses any previous nuclear buildup in history. Even more concerning is the development of new and more sophisticated nuclear weapon systems. China's advances in hypersonic missile technology are particularly worrisome. These missiles are capable of traveling at extremely high speeds and maneuvering in unpredictable ways. This makes them incredibly difficult to intercept, posing a significant challenge to existing missile defense systems. The DIA report serves as a wake-up call for the United States and its allies. China's nuclear ambitions can no longer be ignored. The international community needs to formulate a coherent and coordinated response to this growing challenge. China's nuclear arsenal, while smaller than that of the United States and Russia, is rapidly evolving in both size and sophistication. Understanding the composition of China's nuclear forces is crucial for assessing the potential threat they pose. China's nuclear triad consists of land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, submarine-launched ballistic missiles, and strategic bombers. This triad provides China with a credible second strike capability, meaning it can retaliate with nuclear weapons even if attacked first. The centerpiece of China's land-based nuclear force is the DF-41 ICBM. This road mobile missile has an estimated range of over 7,500 miles, capable of striking targets across the continental United States. China is also developing new ICBMs with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles. MIRVs allow a single missile to carry multiple warheads, each capable of hitting a different target. China's submarine-launched ballistic missile force is also undergoing modernization. The Jin-class submarines armed with JL-2 SLBMs enhance China's ability to maintain a survivable nuclear deterrent. These submarines can launch their missiles from the relative safety of the ocean depths, making them difficult to detect and destroy. China's nuclear buildup has brought global security to a crossroads. The established international order, characterized by U.S. nuclear dominance, is being challenged. The world is entering a new era of multipolarity, with multiple centers of power vying for influence. This shift in the balance of power has the potential to create a more unstable and unpredictable security environment. The risk of miscalculation and escalation increases as more actors acquire nuclear weapons and the means to deliver them. The existing arms control architecture, largely designed during the Cold War, is struggling to keep pace with these changes. The United States and Russia, the world's two largest nuclear powers, are locked in a stalemate over arms control. China's reluctance to engage in meaningful arms control negotiations further complicates matters. Without China's participation, it will be extremely difficult to establish effective mechanisms for managing nuclear risks in the 21st century. How does China's nuclear buildup challenge the existing international order? What are the potential consequences of a failure to adapt arms control mechanisms to the changing global security environment? The Taiwan issue is a major flashpoint in U.S.-China relations and a potential trigger for conflict. China views Taiwan as a breakaway province that must be reunified with the mainland. The U.S. has a strong interest in maintaining peace in the Taiwan Strait and has committed to providing Taiwan with defense means. China's growing military power could embolden its approach to Taiwan. Some analysts fear China might use its military might to force a resolution. The U.S. faces a dilemma. It wants to deter China but avoid provoking a wider war. Managing the Taiwan issue requires careful diplomacy and clear communication. One of the most significant challenges in assessing China's nuclear program is the lack of transparency surrounding its activities. 
China has historically maintained a high degree of secrecy regarding its nuclear forces, making it difficult to verify its intentions and capabilities. Unlike the United States and Russia, which have engaged in arms control agreements that include verification mechanisms, China has resisted such measures. This lack of transparency fuels suspicion and mistrust, making it more difficult to build confidence and reduce the risk of miscalculation or unintended escalation. The international community has repeatedly called on China to be more transparent about its nuclear program and to engage in meaningful arms control discussions. Increased transparency and dialogue would help to reduce tensions, build trust, and promote strategic stability. Why might China be reluctant to be more transparent about its nuclear program? What are the potential benefits and risks of increased transparency in China's nuclear program? In the absence of greater transparency from China, Open Source Intelligence, or OSINT, plays a crucial role in understanding its nuclear ambitions. OSINT refers to information that is publicly available, such as satellite imagery, government reports, academic publications, and media articles. Organizations like the Federation of American Scientists and the Center for Strategic and International Studies utilize OSINT to track China's nuclear developments, providing valuable insights into its nuclear capabilities, doctrine, and intentions. By analyzing publicly available information, these organizations help to shed light on China's opaque nuclear program. While OSINT provides valuable information, it has limitations. It can be difficult to verify the accuracy of open source information, and there are often gaps in the available data. Despite these limitations, OSINT remains an essential tool for understanding China's nuclear program and informing policy decisions. What are some examples of how open source intelligence can be used to track China's nuclear program? What are the limitations of relying on open source intelligence for understanding China's nuclear ambitions? Despite the challenges posed by China's nuclear buildup and its lack of transparency, dialogue remains essential. The United States and China must find ways to engage in meaningful discussions about their nuclear arsenals and strategic intentions. Dialogue can help to build trust, reduce the risk of miscalculation, and identify areas of common ground. It can also create a framework for future arms control agreements and other measures to enhance strategic stability. The United States and China have a shared responsibility to manage their nuclear relationship responsibly. Failure to do so could have catastrophic consequences for both countries and the world. Questions for reflection. What are some potential topics for dialogue between the United States and China regarding their nuclear arsenals? What are the potential benefits of engaging in dialogue, even if it does not immediately lead to concrete agreements? China's nuclear buildup underscores the need for a new approach to arms control in the 21st century. The existing arms control architecture, largely a product of the Cold War, is struggling to adapt to the realities of a multipolar world. New arms control agreements should be negotiated that are tailored to the specific security challenges of the 21st century. These agreements should include all major nuclear powers, including China. In addition to traditional arms control measures such as limits on the number of nuclear warheads, new approaches should be explored. These could include measures to enhance transparency, build confidence, and reduce the risk of cyber attacks on nuclear command and control systems. Questions for reflection. What are the key differences between the security environment of the Cold War and the present day? What are some potential features of a new arms control architecture for the 21st century? The concept of nuclear deterrence, which posits that the possession of nuclear weapons deters other states from attacking for fear of retaliation, is being tested in the 21st century. The emergence of new nuclear powers, the development of new technologies, and the changing nature of warfare are all challenging the traditional assumptions of nuclear deterrence. In a multipolar world, the dynamics of nuclear deterrence are more complex and unpredictable. The risk of miscalculation and escalation is higher, as is